Hello, welcome to Invictus Porsche. Today we've got with us the Porsche 981 GT4 as well as the Porsche 718 GT4. And this is going to be a comparison video between these two cars. And before we can get right into it, don't forget to subscribe. And just wanted to say a thank you in advance for actually watching our videos because we earn out of YouTube, which we donate to a UK registered charity. And currently they have projects where they're building wells in Afghanistan and just building one well can make and transform a life of a whole village because you don't have to have these little kids and the women walking four kilometers just to access a clean source of water and it puts a smile on my face and I'm sure it does to you to be able to do such good work so thank you once again in advance for watching it these are fundamentally I'd say two different cars despite the fact they look very similar. And many journalists would say there isn't much to pick in between. But when I say fundamentally, the front bumper has been completely redesigned. Just look at the front of this 981, the Porsche 981 GT4. This was the 2015 plate car. This is the 2019 plate car. I mean, you're looking at a completely different front bumper, just a complete redesign of it. The little touches, for example, this is just superbly smooth, that plastic trim. This has this beautiful aerodynamic touch to it. It's these little touches such as this that make a huge, massive difference. Now also, the side door mirrors are very different to the 981, the Porsche 981 GT4 in comparison to the Porsche 718 GT4. Also, little details in terms of the headlights, they might look very similar shaped, but rather than having two uh, aspects to your front headlights, you've got just the one headlight that does it all for you. We'll be getting onto the inside in a moment, but just wanted to cover the rest of the vehicle. The rear wing has been redesigned on the 718 GT4, where the rear wing just sculpts down gently to the back and that gives it a very beautiful touch. No longer do you have the rear LED headlights um, just with that aggressive lines into the diffuser because the diffuser is absolutely massive on the 718 GT4. And lastly, the, I would say the biggest of changes is the complete rear bumper, the complete rear bumper redesign, the placement of the rear exhaust and the 718 GT4 has just so much more going on just down here from an aerodynamic perspective. I've been under this car a little while ago when it was being loaded off the low loader. Now, what are the fundamental changes on the inside? Let me just get the cameraman through this door. We'll do the Porsche 718 GT4. This is the comfort pack, meaning you've got the sports seats with the hardback shell, the Alcantara GT Sport steering wheel, the six-speed manual um, gear selector lever, all of it's finished in, in Alcantara. I mean, you could just, on the inside, you find the PCM being uprated. The fact that the Sports Chrono uh, Plus clock where the placement of that is different to the Porsche 981 GT4. And also these grooved or these vented um, aspects that you find to the air vent. <laughs> and also, of course, there's being the comfort back has got the heated seats. And the biggest difference between these two cars, of course, is performance. But the minute you sit into it, the clutch feel is very different on these two cars. The 718 is that daily driver GT4 with a nicer, softer clutch pedal feel. And it is a heavier car, but it feels a lot lighter because it's just agile and the aerodynamics, the whole drivability of it feels like you can daily this every day. It's not a back-breaking exercise in comparison to the 981 GT4. In comparison to, of course, yes, this is the club sport package with the Porsche 918 carbon bucket seats. And yes, the steering wheel is similar, identical finish Alcantara. It's very um, similar gear selector lever. Yeah, the chrono watch, as I said, the, where the placement is. Whereas on the 718, you could see this arches to there, the PCM being uprated makes a big massive difference because you can have like Apple CarPlay or Android capability. But the clutch pedal, in terms of how it feels, uh, 
<laughs> like, you know, sitting in between these two cars, this feels like analog, characterful, and it feels like this is a car that you just want to have as part of your collection that you may not necessarily drive a lot in comparison to something like this, which you can get in and out of and drive it every single day. And now let's talk about driving, is we're going to get on the road and drive this first, the first Porsche GT4. It's always an adventure being able to get into one of these and have the pleasure of driving it. I can't say that there are many people that do the job that I do, so I feel very lucky in that sense. Immediately from the get-go, that clutch pedal is so much stiffer on the Porsche 981 GT4. When I've driven the two cars a fair bit already, and the, the 981 GT4, I'm not sure if you can hear the engine sounds, it's just a very organic, colourful, characterful GT car and they've made a huge progress from where they started off on this to where they are on the 718 GT4. Now just on this little countryside road coming down it and all you want to do is just get onto the main road and put it through its paces and um, it's truly a pleasure it's truly a pleasure to be able to do this and for me it's something that I anticipate and look forward to tremendously and what I love about it is this This is with the sports exhaust off. Let's press the sports button, the PC, the valves are switched on, and the sport chassis controls are on. And let's just try it out. That exhaust sound is so much deeper. And let me just go down again. The, the auto blip, the rev matching that you get GT4 is so satisfying. We'll go down again. We're at four and a half thousand RPM at about 55 miles an hour. And it just goes to show that the gear ratio on the GT4 gearbox isn't particularly to my liking. I just think that gear ratio is way too long between these gears. But this is, this is what a video, a comparison video like this is all about. It's to be able to kind of discuss these little minor changes. The 981 GT4 is now six years old. Eight, actually. <laughs> so, sorry, so I'll say seven. So I guess these analog elements to it is to be expected. What I must say is the stiffer clutch barrel and that organic um, feel to how heavy the steering wheel is, etc. I think all of this is to be expected. I mean, Porsche, as, 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 as any product that they have in their lineup, it evolves, it just improves, and it's small little incremental improvement changes, and that's just part and parcel of their philosophy. And in no way or form or shape can you be calling this that it's a sluggish steering wheel, the electronically assisted steering wheel, in whatever shape, you know, way or form, because it feels very engaging. It feels heavy enough to say that, well, okay, it's not the hydraulic steering wheel that you were so used to in the 
in the earlier models, but this is definitely not an electronically assisted steering wheel, which it takes away from the fun of driving something so special like this. Not the kind of steering that you get in your Ferraris or BMWs or in the Mercedes. This needs a bit of an input. It needs a bit of a, a hand from, from its driver to, to sort of glide it around the corners. And this kind of brings us towards the end of the journey of test driving the 981, the Porsche 981 GT4. What I will be doing immediately is jumping into the 718 GT4 now. And satisfying, this car is satisfying, it is enjoyable, it's great fun. But if I needed to do 5, 10, 20,000 miles, or if I needed to do long trips, and to drive through roads like this, I will be picking the 718 GT4, knowing that the overall comfort levels are just readily available and readily there for the GT4 in comparison, for the 718 GT4 in comparison to the Porsche 981. Very satisfying that we've Take this off the list and let's get in the driving seat of this baby. With a comfort package, immediately this is this is a car you know you can daily and practically drive it every single day. Okay, let's start it. Clutch pedal. Oh nice. Feels so much better. And uh, let's just wait for that engine for a little while, settle in. I'm wondering, I'm debating, do I press the auto blip button from right now or a bit later? Let's do exactly as we've done on the 981 GT4. Let's go. Automatically, you just on this little side road that we have. The suspension on this, that dampening system that the GT4 has, this is able to handle a lot of what the road has to throw at it. It's just a much more advanced suspension system, no doubt. The steering wheel feels a little lighter, that tad bit lighter than the Porsche 981 GT4. And of course, I've already mentioned the clutch pedal feel and the gear selector lever. I mean, the gears change a lot more smoothly, precisely, and it's just a very seamless, beautiful feel to transition between one to two and three and so on. And in that lower gears, the car really has a lot of torque and it just wants to go. Let's switch on auto blip, sport chassis, sports exhaust. satisfying car and as soon as you go above three and a half thousand rpm god oh god that noise that sound that naturally aspirated sound from the four liter boxer engine is mesmerizing it's just music to my ears i don't need the radio on this old music clip running in the background and the gear ratio is that tad bit shorter Whereas, you know, you, you feel like you could do 70 miles an hour in the 981 GT4, whereas on the 718, you, know, you, get, you get up into the second, uh, the third, and the fourth gear, and you, you can still work the car. You can still work that transmission a little bit. And one thing I feared the most was having 
the 718 GT4 come to us in a PDK transmission. I think I'm extremely happy that for this review, the 718 GT4 is also in a manual because to, to do a proper comparison between the two, it's good that it's in a manual. And in no way, form or shape did I want this to be also having the club sport package. It's a no cost option. Performance wise, what are we looking at it? What are we looking at the Porsche 718 GT4? This has the four liter direct fuel injection, naturally aspirated boxer six engine. It produces 414 bhp. Torque wise is 420 newton meters of torque and the 0 to 62 is in 4.2 seconds versus the Porsche 981 GT4 that does the 0 to 62 miles per hour. Well, let's just start from the bhp. Engine is a 3.8 litre engine, 400, 380 bhp. Torque remains the same at 420 newton meters of torque, and the 0 to 62 times is 0.1 second um, difference between the two. It's at 0.3. Let's just go down again, just to experience the, the matching. Four. Let's go back down to third. As we come up to this turn, drop into second. My scare box feels so much more direct and so much more involving. It's not a back-breaking exercise in any way, form or shape. And we are coming towards the end of our test drive in the Porsche 718 GT4. And my conclusion is if you want a car that you can daily, you can put miles on and have a big wide smile on your face without having to think twice, should I take my Mercedes out on this weekend just because you know I'm gonna be doing a couple of shopping trips or should I actually get into the Porsche 718 GT4 even though it's a local journey in the town, you will pick this every single day. But if you've got the Porsche 981 GT4 in your garage, I think you'll be thinking twice because of just the, character and the feel that you get from the clutch transmission the overall engine cabin feel the suspension uh, responsiveness of it yes it's responsive yes it's a brilliant suspension but the 718 gt4 just takes it to a whole different level but as i said whilst doing the video on the 981 gt4 this is something that is to be expected. I mean, this is what you get from experiencing and from driving, you know, a much more evolved and a newer Porsche. And just having them side by side, right next to each other, uh, to me, it's, it's a dream come true. And to the novice, to the novice, they might not see these differences these subtle little differences but let's just look at this big massive huge rear diffuser in the and the 718 gt4 versus the, the the tinier and smaller diffuser that you get on the 981 gt4 just the whole rear styling of it and the aerodynamic side of things between these two cars are you know Day, day and night apart just as soon as you sort of look underneath it and you realize you know how different that back end system the aerodynamic there at the back is in comparison to this i mean this is this is no gimmick this is a real weapon but comfortable enjoyable and um, there's so much more i could talk about i could discuss uh, and I've got to end this video at some point and this is that point. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this comparison. See you next time.